Hello, my lovely Starborns. Welcome to your reading. Today we are asking Spirit to tell us how others are viewing you right now. How are they perceiving you? And all that cool stuff. Just felt like doing something light. Yeah, we don't talk about others so much on this channel. And I feel like, why not? Let's see how we are being perceived. How is my collective being perceived, Spirit? Three shuffles. Whoa, <laughs> final truth. Yeah, I already pre-shuffled, but I always shuffle thrice on camera, right? Let's see how others are feeling about you. Oof, empty room. <laughs> Intention, oof, the king. Thoughts, the underworld. <laughs> Action. The riddle, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> the mentor, yeah. <laughs> With the empty room there, I feel like others others don't know what to feel about you they cannot put a finger on your energy but they always intend to treat you like the king like the royalty that you are regardless of your gender okay but it's this king energy whoa the light is <laughs> this king energy where you know you're perceived as someone to be respected and then people try to stay in your good books and the underlying energy is funny because they think you have access to the occult world and they look at you as a practitioner of some sort and these are all like you know uh, <laughs> opinions let's just say that because it's something about you that they do not understand and some of them they're afraid of you yeah they cannot understand your energy because it does something to them and you're like this puzzle everyone wants to kind of solve you know in all your interactions people are just trying to figure figure you out you know and then the underlying energy is the mentor right so they look up to you like anyone would look up to a king right but yeah, there are layers to it, which we will uh, find out with tarot. <laughs> this is the funniest, the empty room with all the stars there. And they also kind of feel like, you know, you, di you don't need much from others. Uh, that's And it's like you're self-sufficient. There's something about that. Yeah, very strong, very strong personality. That's what they pick up on. Let's see. Let's see the empty room. Whoa, butterfly, <laughs> the horse, yeah. People feel like you have changed a lot, okay? So they don't make the mistake of judging you from your past. Uh, they know, they can sense it that you have absolutely transformed and you have found your inner power and you're in this very empowered energy. And people don't want to mess with you. That's the energy I'm getting, you know. And yes, this is also about they feel like you have healed through, through like you've been through a very, very like dark process. Okay. And uh, you're not defined by your past. And they also feel like you have like 
you have a clean slate right now with that empty room there, right? And whoa, the lights, man. Whoa. Yeah, and they can pick up on this renewal that you walk in. It's a brand new energy. They don't know what... That is why it's empty because uh, it's... It's something, your energy is such that they cannot compare your present self to your past. So all of that they knew about you, it doesn't fit you anymore. It's basically labels do not fit you. Even if you're like a spiritualist of some sort, they cannot dismiss you as a, a new age or fad or anything of that nature because you walk the walk you're not all about the talk rather you wouldn't want to talk so much so you don't go imposing your views and beliefs on others no it's this very solid energy with the king there you know again i'm picking up on this energy of People like standing next to you. They like getting attention from you and they love giving attention to you. They can pick up on the fact that you're glorious and they don't hesitate to glorify you. Even if it doesn't happen openly, it's very much their intention so you will notice this behavior in their actions towards you okay because and they don't say much is because you don't care much for words you're very action oriented with that fire element there and people like to yeah with the fire there and people like to you know match your energy which is lovely i guess she was the king Fox. <laughs> he came out yesterday. Yeah. Again, what what did I say about the fox? That honorable energy, dignified, like a king, right? Is that energy people can pick up on buffalo? Yeah, very solid, very somebody who's not like very dependable. There is something about your energy which is very dependable. People love that. They also know you're very smart. And it's like you're you like smart, but you're not over smart, you know? They know that. It's like so when I say over smart, it's like this energy of being malicious, you know? Just because you know something, so you're just going to use it against others. No, not that. You don't twist energy like that you walk in light like this those these beautiful fractals here right and with all the orange and yellow as like very very balanced solar and sacral chakras especially root because with the root it's like a seal like so the lower chakras are very stable and Many of you who have been uh, who have been riding the upper waves, so mostly my feminines, you earlier like it was mostly about upper chakras. Now even you guys are like you know coming to this solid energy, right? Now you're working on your lower chakras, and my masculines, you're doing the opposite. So both of you are coming into this healthy balance, right? Which is like. I mean, people can pick up on it. Let's see the underword. Yeah, I want to see the underword. In, because this is something they think about and they don't like, you know, say it to you. Peacock. My God, the lights, the lights are crazy today. Whoa. Gazelle. So it's not, uh, they just know that, okay. It's not that creepy underword energy, no. That crafty energy, no, it's not that. With the peacock there, right? It's this energy of... They know that you're tapped in somehow, right? And uh, it's not about... <laughs> a 
Okay, it's hilarious. Okay. So with the gazelle hair, it's like... They just kind of feel like you understand how the other end of the spectrum functions, all right? You understand energy. You understand the darkness. You understand the shadow very well. And because, again, th this is them trying to make sense of the, all the shadow work that you have done, all right? So it is that energy where stuff happens, like the, especially like the kind of stuff that, ha that has happened to you. So people have noticed that it, most people kind of like succumb under all that pressure, you know? And you didn't. You let all that change you and turn you into a beautiful peacock. So you were, you found your way out. You didn't get engulfed by the underworld, by the darkness of your own psyche and everything that happened, okay? You came out empowered like this peacock here with your crown of glory intact. <laughs> yeah. So again, that royalty figure here, you know? So it's this layer of energy, it's the peacock and the horse and Mr. Fox. So uh, Mr. Fox, I keep saying Mr. Fox, it's because I saw this um, thing on Twitter. I, it was about uh, Mr. Fox. It was a clip, I guess. And I think it's a show or a movie or something of that nature. Yeah, and you know, that clip looked, uh, looked interesting and I think I would check it out so it's called Mr. Fantastic Fox something like that yeah so yeah fantastic right you are fantastic so even in all the darkness people don't think you are evil or anything no it's rather something absolutely opposite they can pick up on this pure energy that you give out whoa 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 who is with us let me just feel it. show a spirit who's with us two of cups a lot of love <laughs> spirit guides are with us and with the leo and angel energy and the light here beautiful thank you for being here I can feel all that love okay show us the riddle so let's see what action they wish to take and they do take for you here's the riddle scorpion <laughs> dragonfly okay so people come to you whether they know it or not consciously or subconsciously they come to you in order to figure out how you did it <laughs> how you did it because what is this see wait see elephant underneath crazy so how did you turn from this butterfly to the dragonfly because this is again another you know cycle of transformation happening so like butterfly is let's say a bit of like a lower octave of change but with dragonfly it is stamped you know it's like now it's forever and it empowers you whoa uh, i think i'm entering another dimension with all the blinky whoa <sighs> okay i'm just gonna finish this reading real quick okay you guys so yeah, with the dragonfly underneath and the scorpion. They want to figure out how you did it, right? How you transmuted all that light energy. Uh, like all that darkness into light energy. Okay, how you how you didn't sting yourself. Like a scorpion, you know? And how you rose above it all. And flew away from the murk. With your iridescent wings okay i don't know why i'm doing that mm -mm, so spicy <laughs> uh, 
and let's see the underlying energy no with this yeah the mantle cobra phoenix whoa crazy yeah it's a total shift in the energy right you have achieved some sort of mastery here that people can totally people respect that about you and when it comes to the action that they want to take it's mostly like they want to learn because you do show up as the mentor figure they know that you know a lot about life that they want to figure to they want to know the deeper aspects of our existence and those are the kind of people you attract so heavy on spirituality you guys okay so because i have the two of cups right so all these i think the ones i'm reading for right it's mostly your soul connections your soul family and you know your soul groups and among family and friends and all these are the people who kind of like look at you this way you know and they have immense respect and love for you and they're proud of you they're very proud They they kind of they know that you are very gifted. Wow. Do I need to pull taro? I don't feel like. So I will not. And also, this energy is like yeah. I need to ground myself. Yeah, it's lovely though. So, guys. I hope this helps. If this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.